we've been talking about, everybody's been talking about the NBA China controversy. Not as much as we have, though. Some people have shied away right. from it. Right. No, a lot of people have. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. We I, I, Maybe we've talked about it more than most. I don't know. But more than most. We didn't sure. get a muzzle from our management no, no, at no, all. No, 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 Nothing no, no. at all. No. It's a big story. It needs to be discussed. And so uh, the first player to really discuss it at length is appropriately, if, if there's going to be a player to step up and talk about it, you would think it would be the face of the league, LeBron James, probably the most outspoken player in the league. And he talked about it yesterday for the first time. And here's a snippet of what he said. We all talk about this freedom of speech. Yes, we all do have freedom of speech. But at times, there are ramifications for the negative that can happen when you're not thinking about others. And only, you're only thinking about yourself. So I don't believe, I don't want to get a, a word or sentence uh, feud with Daryl with Daryl uh, Morey, but I believe he wasn't educated on, on, on the situation at hand, and um, and he spoke. And uh, so many people uh, could have been harmed, um, not only financially, but physically, emotionally, spiritually. So just be careful what we tweet and we say and what we do, even though, yes, we do have freedom of speech, but there can be um, a lot of negative that comes with that too. Now, Rob, LeBron James is getting destroyed. And rightfully Not just so. nationally, and I'm going to give it up, up to you in a, in a moment. Not just nationally, but internationally. In Hong Kong, they've held a dis- demonstration where they're burning his jersey. And uh, here in the United States, uh, he's getting criticism left and right. So I'm going to let you uh, go ahead and address it first. Go, what are your thoughts? I, I think LeBron James could not be more wrong. And talk about selfish. LeBron James is the selfish one. This is about sneaker business in China. This is about his money. Go back and read the quote, the, the, the tweet from Daryl Morey. What, what's uneducated about it? About democracy and freedom? LeBron James, you get to play basketball and make millions of dollars and sell your T-shirts and soda pop and sneakers because of democracy. What are you talking about? I don't. I, I want to see what tweet was uneducated. There was nothing in that tweet that wasn't what we all live by. The, the issues that we deal with in this country are more complicated than the idea of democracy, of people having a right to live free and do as they want. That's what we do. This whole notion that Daryl Morey did something wrong. China doesn't want it. They're a communist nation. I get it. They don't want that stuff out there. They want to regain control of Hong Kong. And the people of Hong Kong don't want it. What part don't you get? And then to, to, to talk about, well, there's ramifications in hurting people financially. Hurting you. That's what this is about. Right? Because you don't want what you have going to stop. I get it. You're a very rich man. But that's where they make your sneakers. That's what this is about. And if you want to be taken seriously as this global icon, it can't be just when it's right for you. And the same people LeBron talking about there's a time and a place and he should have waited till we came back from China or said it another time. Those are the same people who told the NFL players, don't do it during my NFL game. Go, go do it down the block or 20, 20 miles from here in a park and march in a circle where nobody can see you or nobody can hear you. There was only one good time to do it when they were heading to China. When other time would you do it? That's how you draw attention to stuff. That's how things get changed. The way things get changed in the world, somebody's got to feel uncomfortable. I'm sorry. I've never seen anything change when, when everybody's hunky-dory and life is great. Somebody has to feel uncomfortable. Daryl Morey didn't do anything wrong other than express his support for democracy. I'll stand with that guy anytime. Rob, 
what LeBron said, first of all, he would have been better off not addressing it. He really would have. What he said, it's, it's indefensible. It's indefensible. Now, first he said that Daryl Morey was only thinking about himself. The very nature of the tweet was for millions of people who are oppressed. Daryl Morey tweeted about people in Hong Kong fighting for democracy, about the Uyghur Muslims who are millions of them who are in concentration camps. How in the world is that only thinking about yourself? Like that's just contradictory on its face. If he were only thinking of himself, he would sit there in Houston with his cushy cushy job running the front office for a basketball team and not get involved in such matters. He could have lost his job. He is probably being hated on by people within the league, other front offices, people in his own organization, and certainly players, because I think LeBron was speaking for a lot of players. So that in and of itself is just ludicrous that he was only thinking of himself. Do I understand LeBron saying we were over there in the, in China, when all this was going on and it was a bit uncomfortable, we didn't know what was going on. Some of our families were there. I get that. But here's the thing. Whatever inconveniences the players were going through, whatever they were, I don't know what they were, but whatever inconveniences they were going through, pale. Pale. In comparison to what those Muslims who are being oppressed over there are going through, and to what the people in China who don't have freedom of speech and other freedoms are going through, people in Hong Kong. So I I was stunned by the tone deafness of what LeBron said. He's obviously been very conscientious about different issues here in the United States. And for him to come out and say that was baffling. It really was to... He should have, if he's going to say anything of substance, he should have basically took the line Adam Silver did. That we stand behind our right to freedom of speech. We support Daryl Morey's right to say what he said. It's a complicated issue. And, you know, it was it was uncomfortable over there because we didn't know what was going on. But I'm glad to be back. And, and you could have left it at that. If you didn't really want to get deep. And LeBron came out today, and we'll get to this a little later, and kind of doubled down on his statement. And one thing he said was every issue is not – he doesn't. I don't believe every issue should be everyone's problem. Meaning, you know, everybody can't address every problem, which I get, understand, and agree with. I do too, Chris. That's but, not, I agree with right. that. I don't, but here's I don't the, want you here's to, the, to stand up on a soapbox on every issue. Right. But what Daryl Morey said, I'm sorry, is fundamentally what we live by. It I just agree. is. And, and here's the other thing, Rob. I understand you can't address every issue. But when other issues are similar or in the same quote-unquote family as the issues that are important to you, at the ver- even if you don't put a full-fledged effort to fight against it because it, you know, it may be in another country or wherever, right. you should be supportive of that of those who are fighting that issue or who do speak out against it. Example, racism is similar to human rights violations. Absolutely. It's the same thing. It's just taken to a, a further degree in China. So you can't really speak out against racism and then poo-poo those, chastise, criticize those who speak out against human rights violations. Even if it's not your fight in China, if that's what you feel like and believe, you at least should be supportive of those who do feel it's their fight. 
One hundred percent. You can't. It's just. And the and and here's the thing, Rob. And I I hope. I mean, we just had a, a policeman inexplicably kill a an unarmed, unarmed black woman in her own home. in her house in Fort Worth, Texas. I would love to hear LeBron and other athletes speak out about that. The question is, has LeBron damaged? I don't think it should stop him from speaking out here, but how are people going to receive it? Doesn't sound the same. It won't have the same base. You know, Chris, you always talk about the base in your voice. I'm telling you, either you believe in what's right or you don't. You can't pick and choose. And right. no one... If, if Daryl Morey went on some tirade about the Chinese government, it was just throwing support to democracy. Right. That's what he did, Chris. Did you did you hear him say they should storm the Chinese government and behead the the, the dictator? Not Any at all. of that? None of Not that. At all. None of that. That would would I touch that? No. Nobody would want to touch that. That's not what he did. To to. I believe LeBron is for oppressed people here in America, particularly African Americans. But you can't be for oppressed people here in in America, but not be for oppressed people elsewhere. He tweeted it out last year. Injustice everywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. Hello. A Martin Luther King quote. And, And I'll say this too. The only thing, Chris, worse than than the bad people who do things to other people are when good people turn away and don't try to combat it. That's worse when good people know what's going on and they don't do anything about it. Well, here's the thing, Rob. That's that's an appropriate way to end this segment. What Daryl Morey did unwittingly, I believe, was he took, he pulled the cover off. He exposed the ugliness of, and it's not just the NBA, because it's, a, it's a tons of American corporations. And it could spill over into that too. But this has been going on for 30 years. And everybody's turned a blind eye to it. Now, Daryl Morey exposed it. And so now it's known, it's out there. Everybody's talking about what's going on. And this is the last thing I would say about LeBron saying social media maybe not the way, not always the right place. Daryl Morey thinking about himself. Daryl Morey has started a conversation that could have good ramifications for people in Hong Kong. Mm-hmm. I don't know if it will, but now we're talking about it. Now people, I've said it on TV myself and radio. Look at all these other American corporations. NBA is not alone. All these other American corporations are kowtowing to China as well. People are talking about it. Perhaps it'll have an effect. Because if you remember, Rob, in the late 80s, early in the throughout the 90s, the the drum beat got so strong against apartheid in South Africa. No doubt about it. That American colleges and corporations divested from South Africa to try to end apartheid, and they were successful. Absolutely. And what happened? Who else took center stage? The entertainers who refused to go to Sun City and perform where they had performed for years, Chris. They stopped going. Look, as an African-American, if someone from another country tweet, a powerful person connected to a powerful business or league tweeted about, the unarmed shooting killings of blacks, I'd be thankful. Hey guys, how you doing? Love the show. Thank Big you. Support Thank you guys. Um, I'm not, I, I've called before. I'm not, never been a LeBron fan and, and put this, put the basketball athletic stuff aside. Um, you know, I, I come from, uh, uh, my, my, uh, half of my family's African American. Okay. So I come from a mixed, mixed folk family. And also, you know what, LeBron, he speaks out about certain things, oppression and this, this and that. You know what? Sometimes you just got to keep your mouth shut on the real. You just got to keep your mouth shut. And I don't know if Nike put it up to him or, or what, 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 his businesses and his money. But you know what, dude? Seriously, you just got to keep your mouth shut because, you know what? Someone told me one time, you can't fix everything, 
And so are you, you just saying, are you, are you backing what, that's essentially what he said. Are you backing that or are you saying he should not have spoken? No, no, he should not have spoke. He just, just leave it alone. Just like, hey, no comment. You know what? He would have been I better mean, off. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, you know what right, I mean? All right, Paul. Thanks for the call. Yeah. We're trying to get to so many people. Chris, right. and, Chris in Louisiana, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. Uh, yes, sir. My thing is, I believe y'all are just totally living in the fantasy world, man. Because this channel, did everybody from the people in the channel saying thing was going on in other countries? No. So why should we keep worrying about what they're doing? They've been doing this last since they've been since they've been a country. So my point is, if everybody's so offended by what's going on in Hong Kong, how can one get on the plane and go in there and protest for them? Y'all talking about what? what they're doing to Muslim? How come y'all won't get on the plane, fly to Hong Kong and protest for them? It's not our place to tell these countries how to treat their people. If we keep doing that, they're going to be they're going to the more wars. We're Let me ask you this. Let me ask wars. you this. When we as African Americans were in Jim Crow segregation, would you have welcomed another country saying to America, look, you need to start treating your black folks better? But did they, though? No, they but, well, no they but they would not have welcomed they, it. They mind their business. Just like there's no European country telling China what to do. Chris, nobody- Chris, Chris from Louisiana. We live in a different world, man. I'm sorry. This, this... People aren't. This, it's a this, smaller world. It's a smaller now. world, and we we're doing more everything connected. else overseas, Absolutely. getting money, exactly. doing business. Don't act like uh, we don't know what's going on over there. Stop it. Eric in Kalamazoo, you're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Man, Radio. Man, what's up, Rob? What's happening? I'm, and, and Chris, congratulations. You, y'all, y'all got a great show, man. Thank you. Thank I you. like to make Chris from the Midwest. Rob, I'm the barber from the barbershop on Six Mile, Liverpool, the Buzz, man. All right. I moved down to Kalamazoo 19 years ago. So, you know I'm tickled with you on there because you hitting them with, they ain't ready for you. Chris, you hold it down. You from you from where LeBron from, so I know what you're saying. Right. I don't like that caller talking about something. Hey, I'm going to let everybody know I don't like LeBron. And then saying, saying some stuff, he's saying, wait a minute, I don't like LeBron. Don't try to have a lot of cats that don't go to the NBA, go over there and sign a contract and be playing. Cats that, you know, make pretty well. With American players well, high playing and all in that China, stuff. yep, yep. So it's a lot of different things. Michael Jordan had that stuff going on with his gym shoes and all that. I ain't going to get in all that because I don't like divide and conquer. I'm from the Million Man March, and anniversary of that is tomorrow. I get to slide that in there. It'll be 25 years that we got together down there in D.C. The type of stuff we was talking about there was a lot stronger than whatever was happening today. So I'm proud of y'all. Keep the show going. I get, they, they blackballed me from this uh from Fox for a minute. All so, right, <laughs> Eric, we yeah, all good, to man. One more. Let's, let's squeeze. Get to I want to talk more, to t- uh, Top Cat uh, in California. One more, Top Cat. You're on the Odd Couple Fox Sports Radio. How you doing, Odd Couple? What's um, uh, today, you guys aren't so odd. You guys are kind of even. I think both of you guys are on point today with your message. I didn't even take credence of what LeBron said until I listened to the show today, and it made me think. What LeBron said was so silly. So empty. He need he he need to be ashamed of himself. But I don't know if you both saw that interview with uh, Steve Kerr and and um, and Stephen Curry coming out of the restaurant. What the bottom line is, the NBA knows that this is touching their bottom line, and they're all tucking and running. It it it's kind of silly, man, and it looks shameful. Also, I back up Kaepernick over here, baby boy. We all should unite. Capper Nick, too. Thanks, Top All right, Cat. we got you. Thank you. All right, we love to get to more calls. We'll, we we'll talk about this uh, later in the show. But we got Chris Rose of the MLB Network and NFL Network coming up. But first, David Gascon with What is Trending. David. Hey, it's the Odd Couple. I'm Chris. He is Rob. And we want to encourage all of you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right. You know, you can listen to us on the radio. And now you can watch us as well. And it's fun. No question about it. And remember, oh, yeah!